As a shooter, it's important to create and defend the space because you have to be able to provide a target or somewhere for your fellow attackers to pass the ball into. So the key thing for me is when the ball's coming down court, it's actually trying to kind of keep moving to actually get an angle. So a good angle would be, I find, getting a position um, where it's really obvious where you want the ball. So if I'm in a position like this, I'm hoping that someone will feed me here. And the ideal thing with the feeding is you want to get in a position where you're between the ball and the defender. So when you catch the ball, the defender has to go through you to get the ball. I'm using G fellow shooter as a, as a good example here. So yeah, if the ball is placed here, G will have to go through me to get the ball. And you kind of like draw the contacts. And it might be either for the front space coming through, or it might be if the defender moves round, you kind of like keep adapting, keep adapting, you might flip out and go this way. And it's just, yeah, creating a really obvious angle in a good space for the, um, somewhere to pass the ball to. When the ball's released, not just standing there either, attacking that ball, because once the ball's in the air, it's kind of a fight between you and the keeper to see who gets it. So it's holding long enough so that you're going to win this race, but then moving on to it. So the ball's in the air, wait, and it's really powering up, protecting it, taking the ball away from the defender. So you're doing everything you can to protect the rounding of the ball. If you to take the ball more onwards like this, there's maybe a contest between you and the, the defender. If you're taking the ball away, there was no chance that that defender was getting that ball. The key things is trying to actually get the space are just to keep moving the whole time. Your defender is going to be on you and they're going to be moving. moving yeah. So you've got to keep the footwork moving, keep the footwork moving. I might flip around to this angle. And as long as you can be adaptable way to take the ball, the key thing is footwork, having a good centre of gravity, not getting too wide because when that ball's released, you need to be able to power up and get it. It's keeping good footwork, a good angle, and a good base ready to power off from. And also, Townsend Greenway, um, <laughs> who's coached me for many years, has kind of like always told me as a player to do everything from a hold. That's your kind of like strength position. You can get a good angle from it. You can do lots of things from it. So if I'm holding on a player and they start to move, I can then use their momentum, roll out and take a ball. So it might not just be the straight hold. It might be having that variety. If you can mix a hold up with a bit of movement variety, then, then the, the defender doesn't know what you're going to do. So if I'm holding here and my defender's going, no, I want to come round, if you can then roll out and take the ball in this space, you're going to use the keeper's movement against them. And also it's going to change throughout the game as well. So if I'm an attacker and I have just done that move about four times on a keeper, they're going to change things up. But you've kind of got to change things up before it. So what I might do is I might hold for this space, they think they're going to go, and then you can roll out and play this way. If the ball's coming down this side, yeah, go come out the front, yeah, and you, you keep playing to back space, you can let them step and then play forward. And I find a game is, is, is a constant battle throughout the, um, the court. You have different momentums in different quarters, and you have to adapt what you're doing, but I think the key is adapting, changing your footwork, and just seeing what's the defender good at, and what can I beat them at, and just kind of adapting as you go through.